Today we're going to discuss how the email signature can be a powerful part of your brand and communications materials. And you're going to figure out how to do this on your own today and that you don't need a graphic professional to help you with this. So let's get started. The first part of our tutorial will be discussing the information that we should have as part of our email signature. If we look at this chart here, I've outlined a number of pieces of information that you can consider using on your email signature. You certainly don't have to put all of these things, but they are worth consideration as you determine what is the most important information for your email signature. A graphic logo image can be part of your signature. Your name, your title, your company name, the phone number of your company, fax number, email, your website address, possibly even your MySpace or YouTube address, the physical address of your office, and some additional information that you might consider including are a professional picture of yourself, a special offer that your company is currently having, an inspirational thought or quote, and possibly link to information on your website. Once you've decided what information you'd like to have in your email signature, you'll want to spend some time thinking about how your email signature is going to look. Now, if you don't have a logo and you haven't spent much time thinking about the branded colors of your organization, this is probably where you'll want to start. If pick two colors you feel really represent the colors you'd like to use in your organization. Once you've decided on the colors, you're going to want to take your information and lay it out in a way that is easiest to read for the viewer and communicates the most important information first. Okay, now we're going to look at three examples of branded emails. The first example here is by a client who doesn't have a logo design yet or a website or a business card. But she does know that she wants the colors of orange and dark gray to be part of her branded image. So if we look here, she's put her name in a dark gray, a bold gray, with her title underneath, and then the name of her company in the orange and also in bold. Underneath of that, a font size lower, she's put her company's physical address, and then the phone number and website address, and also her email address. She's decided to use these plus signs over here because she knows that she's going to use those signs on her website. So she's decided to already make it part of her email signature. The next example that we're going to see is a little bit of a different layout. Also by someone who doesn't yet have a logo or a website. And she did this herself as well. Instead of using a vertical format, she uses a horizontal format. And once again, she distinguishes her name from the rest of her information by using colors. Her name is placed in a light gray, followed by email address, website, and phone number, all underneath a nice teal vertical horizontal rule. And she's taken her information and also put it in a teal bolded font. Next, we're going to look at catered canines. George is a dog groomer who is a client of Ouroboros Design and Multimedia. And he has had a logo design uh, done with us. He's also done a website and also a business card, all of which match and convey a fantastic, consistent, and professional branded image. However, when he sends out emails, this is what he sends out. Meanwhile, this is his logo and this is his website. If we take a look at his business card, we'll see that his branded image is carried into the business card. Again, we see the logo and we see the colors of a dark yellow and orange used with the images of the doggy down below that were also used on the website. Now, in order to really create a consistent branded image, we took the 
a maroon that was used on his logo and we applied that to his name. We decided not to use the yellow color because the yellow color doesn't show up that well on an email for text. So we substituted it with a dark gray, which is also a complementary color used in his branding. And we assigned the dark gray to his title. We then put in the image of his company underneath and continued with his phone, his email, and his web address. And one way he was able to really use the colors of gray and maroon to complement each other is to apply the maroon to the beginnings of his um, information right here and then put the actual information in dark gray. I hope that you found this tutorial to be helpful and that it enables you to create beautiful branded email signatures. For more information on how to create your own custom branded email signatures and to view additional samples, please visit my website address on the screen. Thank you.